Tracking tropical storm Helene expected to rapidly intensify into a major hurricane as it takes aim at Florida's Gulf Coast. And evacuations and preparations already underway as hurricane and storm surge warnings are issued up and down the coast. Florida's Task Force 2 is set to deploy to the storm zone in the coming hours. And South Florida is also bracing for torrential rain and strong winds from Helene. Our Weather Authority team is standing by with what you need to know. And we begin with our Chief Certified Meteorologist, Betty Davis. Betty. Hi there. The environment that Helene will be moving into should be just right for it to continue to gain some steam. We do have the new advisory maximum sustained winds of 60 miles per hour pressure 991 millibars moving west northwest at 10 miles per hour. It's centered 145 miles south southwest of the western tip of Cuba should pass near the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula tonight heads over into the Gulf becomes a hurricane and forecast to be a category three hurricane as it closes in on the big bend of Florida looks as though it's going to head for that landfall at some point Thursday evening makes its way inland over parts of the southeast interaction with land it weakens but still rings out a lot of tropical moisture for those parts. I do want to talk about what we're expecting here for South Florida and the Keys. Clearly, we are not going to get the core of this system, but some of those rain bands and scattered showers and storms rolling our way. Winds could gust up to 50 miles per hour at times for the Keys or maybe even up to 40 for Dade and Broward. So Wednesday, Thursday, we got to look out for the conditions to deteriorate here uh, thanks to the windy conditions and the off and on rain bands. Here's a look at the Sunshine State and all the watches and warnings covering us as we bring in our hurricane specialist and storm surge expert Michael Lowry. Michael, just a, a testament to how large this system is to see how expansive those watches and warnings are. Yeah, Betty, this is one of the larger systems that we've seen in some time. I'll talk about that in just a minute. I want to show you those latest uh, stats again that you just showed from the 11 o'clock advisory winds of 60 miles per hour. The Hurricane Center noting that this could be conservative in, turn of the, in terms of their estimate of the winds right now. In other words, it could be even a little bit stronger than that. West Northwest at 10, this is going to clip, it looks like, the Yucatan uh, Peninsula, but it shouldn't slow it down. When you look at the convective pattern, the thunderstorms that are blowing up near and over where the center is, this tells us that this is organizing and strengthening. Take a look at the wind field here. This is Thursday early Early morning. This is the pre-dawn hours on Thursday. The yellow area is tropical storm conditions. And as we go into Thursday afternoon, notice how that yellow area, the winds of tropical storm strength, 40 plus miles per hour, covering virtually the entire peninsula. Uh, we are technically under a tropical storm watch here in southeast Florida uh, for Miami, Dade and Broward counties. But we're going to see those tropical storm conditions in terms of the gusts and those winds. And you can see 400 miles across. The last time we had a, a storm this strong in the eastern Gulf of Mexico was Hurricane Irma back in 2017. And we all saw the damage what happened there. This is going to make landfall. We're uh, fairly certain of this in the uh, sweeping big bend of Florida into Appalachia Bay. But this could be a very, very impactful storm for the state capitol here. Really, one way or the other could make a big difference in terms of who gets the greatest impacts. But because this is so broad, it's going to have just big impacts up and down the coast here in terms of the water at the coast. Storm surge warnings up for virtually everybody along Florida's Gulf Coast from Apalachicola down, down south to south of Naples. Take a look at some of these numbers here. 10 to 15 feet is what the Hurricane Center is forecasting here in the neck of uh, the uh, Big Bend here from Cedar Key to Crystal River up to Alligator Point. These are areas that, uh, by the way, that have seen big impacts from hurricanes lately. Uh, 5 to 10 inches of rain could be even a bigger impact across the southeast in terms of the rainfall from this. So sweeping impacts, uh, far-reaching impacts into the latter part of the week.